Hey everybody, welcome back to A Literary Life. Okay, so I have an empties video for you guys, which is basically a thousand mini reviews in a really short amount of time. And I'm afraid because I haven't done an empties in probably like four or five months that this might have to be a two part video. Um, and if you're curious, I got my sweatshirt at Target. I think it's so cute. It's the Grayson and Threadline from Target. I don't know. It might be gone, but it's like that really super soft. Like, I love this little good vibes only. So, yeah, I have like zoomed myself back from the camera so that you can see this Muji bag is, I want you to see how big it is like next to me. It's huge. It's full, you guys. So... That's why I think it's going to have to be a two-parter. Um, I haven't, I didn't organize my trash, obviously, because I just like throw stuff in here. But when I say that I use a lot of Bioderma Sensi Bio, I want you to see like all of these. These are the 500 mLs, three of them, maybe another one in there, and then a little baby. I really use Sensi Bio every single day um my favorite is the pump top you can actually refill this one i might keep that one i have a of multiple pump tops but i think i might keep that one too just because they're limited edition so i get all panicked that the pump top's going to be gone forever but you can always refill it so um i'll link this down below if you can still get that but if not buy these in the two packets the best like value um i just uh finished the redken Beach Envy Volume Texturizing Shampoo for big beachy texture. I didn't love it. I won't repurchase that. It was fine. And to be honest, I used it by the sink for the last half of that bottle and would just wash my bangs because I wash my bangs in the sink a lot. I know it is what it is. Um, an empty Bali Coconut Cove soap from Bath and Body Works. I like that a lot. That's kind of the thing that I really love from Bath and Body Works is their soaps, their candles are actually super toxic and I need to stop burning them, but I can't stop buying them. I have so many, so I need to, I don't know, burn them up. Um, but their soaps are my favorite. Okay, I have a bunch of empty packs of Muji Cut Cotton. This is what I use with my Scentsy Bio and you can order this. Um, they actually have, I don't know if this is new or not, but they have these big packs now. So you can see like the difference. So now I buy them in the big pack and this is the um, unbleached cut cotton in Ecru. They have white as well, which is what those were, was the white. This is really, this is funny. This is how you can tell this is a serious like empties. This is the deodorant I use because it doesn't have aluminum or aluminum if you are from outside the United States, how they say aluminum. But this is what I use. There's three empties right there. Um, I use the Huggies a lot for um, wiping off swatches and wiping off my hand in the morning um, when I'm getting ready. Okay, this is always sad to me when I think I have one more of these in here. Maybe not. I always get really sad when I have the Agave Healing Oils because this is a little bit harder to find now, this shampoo and conditioner, which is my favorite. It's like my Holy Grail shampoo and conditioner. And I'm sad that it's in there. Um, oh, another Bioderma. And this is Hydro Bio or Hydro Bio. This is the hydrating one. I didn't, I wouldn't repurchase this one. It wasn't right for my skin. Scentsy Bio is better for my sensitive skin. Um, another um, Bath and Body Works soap. This is um, Miami Mint Mojito. I liked that one a lot. I think these were all last summer's um, scents. But when the summer scents come out, I buy like 15 of them and use them all year. Because I like the summer over here was a winter one. Oh no oh yeah snow kissed citrus I liked that I thought that smelled really good okay I have some wipes um I didn't even finish these I didn't like these the Ula Hendrickson brightening cleansing cloths I didn't wipe the I didn't like those and then this was a uh target up and up traveling one from my travel bag okay so I used this um Peter Thomas Roth cucumber detox hydrogel eye patches I really liked these but to be honest I think the um, 24 karat gold ones from Peter Thomas Roth are the best eye gel eye patches out there that I've ever tried. So I like the Skin Iceland ones too, but the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold are really the tops. Oh, in fact, <laughs> Skin Iceland right here. Um, Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I like these, 
but they are like a sticker whereas the Peter Thomas Roth ones are like actually like you can feel the product and then you have product to rub in afterward like this the ice skin Iceland ones aren't like that but I do like these because they're a sticker so they stay on easier um I finished this freaking took me forever and I was like making myself use stuff up out of my shower because I was like I've got to get this stuff out of here like I had so much stuff in my shower this is the Cebu C Buckthorn balancing facial cleanser um, I wouldn't rebuy that. I didn't love it. I don't know why I even made myself use it up all the way. Oh, this was a devastator. This is like so sad. The Orbe Gold Blast Repair and Restore Shampoo. Feels like there's still a little bit in here, but I don't know. I might try to like squeeze something out of that, but I think this is done. Um, this is like my favorite luxury shampoo of life and the conditioner that goes with it, that, that line. If you really want to treat your hair or you, your hair is feeling like really dry or brittle or broken, it's worth it to like spend some extra money on some really good shampoo and conditioner for a season and get your hair repaired. And that really does repair your hair. Okay, more of the empty um, Muji cut cottons. Um, if I don't use the Mujis, I use the Swispers. Um, I like those a lot. Not as much as Muji. Okay, so I used up one of the Kenner Platinum Dry Texture Spray, um, Texture Defining Sprays. I love this, this is awesome. I would definitely repurchase this. I just have so many other texture sprays that I'm trying to use up right now. Um, if you all saw my bathroom, you'd be like, is this a Sephora back stock? What is all this? What's going on here? Used up a Pronamel. I don't know why I have toothpaste in here. That's really funny. I have two different toothpastes in here. I have the Kirkland Pro Complete, um, which I probably wouldn't buy again. I didn't like this one. I have to, a Sensi, the Sensodyne Pronamel is really kind of like the right one for me. I've got to keep going with that one. Um, I used up, I loved this. This is the Promise Organic Co Nourishing Coconut Milk Body Wash. And I got this from um, CVS. This whole Promise Organics line is from CVS. And it is paraben free, which I think is really good for us when we're talking about using body products, using paraben free. I don't always do that, but I wish I did. Um, I used an, an up and it bye bye makeup, three in one makeup melting balm. This is my second empty of this. I love that. And I've already repurchased it and have it in my um, bathroom already. I have been using some of my Dr. Dennis Gross um, alpha beta peels. I stopped using these for a long time and then realized I needed to restart using those because my skin needed it. So I'm back on those. Oh, here's another empty um, makeup remover, uh, new pore cleanse and moisturize. I think I just used that for swatches. I don't know. I'm going to keep going, you guys. I know it's long, but um, this is the Bath & Body Works Vanilla Coconut um, Hand Soap. I like that one. That's a really nice one. Um, this wasn't quite gone, but I felt like it was too old to keep using. This is the It Cosmetics Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. I don't even think they sell that anymore. I think they've replaced that with other things. Once again, like I said, I was totally on a, in it, uh, in it to win it, use it up kick in the shower. This is the Aussie three minute miracle moisturizer. I love this. I just need to pick up, I need to put this on my target shopping list because I forgot that I wanted more of that. My favorite detangler is the verb leave-in, um, detangling mist. You can get this at Sephora and it's this whole verb line. I like a lot. They're really awesome. I keep repurchasing it. Um, I used up my Dr. Dennis Gross for Rulic and Retinol Eye Cream. Um, I made myself use this up because I thought it was getting too old and I was like, oh, I opened this too long ago. So I just like cranked through that to use that up. Another Swiss Spurs is in here. I used up as much as I'm going to because I felt like this was maybe too old. The Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Under Eye um, Highlight and Concealer. I like this. I don't love it. It's not my favorite, but I hardly ever wear under eye concealer. So, but this is a decent drugstore find. This is devastating. My Lingerie de Po foundation, and this is the last one of the old formula that I had from Guerlain. So now I need to get the new formula and try it out to see if I like it as much. Um, it, it gets mixed reviews, but that's my favorite foundation of life, like Holy Grail status foundation. Um, some mascaras. I used up two of the It Cosmetics uh, Superhero mascaras, which is my favorite mascara ever. And then another favorite eyelash product is the Dior. This is the Dior. Um, oh, what is this? Why, why can't I read anything? The Dior Show Maximizer 3D Primer Mascara. I love this. Um, I had a couple of these samples. I've used them all up and now I'm on to the full size. What else is in here? Um, I used up a little baby 
um, Caudalie makeup removing cleansing oil. This was in my um, traveling kit. I like that a lot. Oh yeah, look at here's another one of those Dior uh, lash primers. Um, this was also in my traveling kit, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, a little sample of that, a um, little baby of that, used that up. This is always in my empties. Burt's Bees. In fact, I have another one somewhere that I need to put in here, but so four of these basically, that's a lot. Um, I used up the Agave Healing Oils um, Hair Serum. This hair oil, this is my favorite hair oil, hair serum. I feel like this is the main reason why my hair um, can get so much coloring and so much process and so much heat styling done to it and still stay soft and beautiful is because of the Agave um, Healing Oil oil. Oh yeah, here's my other another one in there. Um, uh, this is a YSL mascara volume. Um, I used this once and then threw it in the empties because I didn't like it. Then two little babies, um, the Luna by Sunday Riley. Oh, I love this, but I love blue tansy. Blue tansy anything is fantastic. This is a great product. And then I had a little baby La Mer and this is their, um, cream, their moisturizing soft cream. Holy moly, this is amazing. This was in my little travel thing too, and I just loved that. So I wish I could buy the full size of that, but I've been buying too much other stuff. So I'm not buying the full size La Mer. In fact, I'm gonna really try not to buy any skincare for quite a while. I need to like slow my skincare roll. So anyway, that's it for the empties. If you have any questions about any of these products um, and you want more in-depth information, let me know. But I do feel like it does give, I mean, you see the same, thing. my empties is like the same thing over and over agave, bioderma, Burt's Bees. This is always in my empties. I just, yeah, I feel like I'm a creature of habit and I just am using this Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. You've seen that in an empties multiple times. Um, it's this, the Dennis Gross stuff, the It melting balm. I just, I like, I like what I like and I repurchase the same things over and over and over. And hopefully that's what gives, lends a little bit of extra trust and credibility to our relationship here on YouTube is that you just see that I keep buying the same stuff, keep talking about the same brands and none of them are paying me. None of them are sponsored. Um, this channel does not really make any money, sadly. I mean, whatever, it is fine. Some of those girls have figured it out and they are making the cash. I'm going to work every day working some working that way to make my cash, but if anybody wants to manage this YouTube channel, let me know. Just pimp me out. Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't mean that. So anyway, all of this stuff is going out to the trash. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.